Hello, my name is Jort and welcome to the new video explaining the Picon Basket 2.9. As you can see, I've just opened the quote and immediately went to the report page. There has been some changes made to the report as you can see. The look and feel has changed a bit, but the impact on the workflow is minor. Good to know is that in this version of the Picon Basket, you will be able to use both the old and the new version of the reporting. Good to know is that in the autumn release later this year, the new version of the reporting will only be supported. Therefore, the older version will no longer be there. Good to know is that in the new functionality of the reporting, if you want to send out a document without any price information, you will have to select a different template, the article overview, as showcased in the screen now. This template allows you to send out the documentation without any pricing, but just with the quantity of the products in there. Another new functionality that we provide in the new reporting function is that you now can say on each folder level if you want to have the image big or small. As you can see on the screen, if I click on the folder, I have a button there which allows me to say that I want to have a full screen image available in the report, yes or no. This allows me to create a more individual report and create the look and feel that I want to send out to my customer. This functionality does not only work for folders, it also works for set articles. As you can see on the screen, if I created a set article, I have two new options there. First of all is to show the full width image and to show or hide the sub items. As you can see, it's report only. In this way, I can hide certain articles which are underneath the set article and just showcase the total price of the set. Moving over from the reporting section to the calculation section, there has also been some changes. As you can see in the set article, I have three new lines in my sales area. Those discounts or upcharge that I add there will not be visible on the report. Therefore, with this function, I can change the sales price communicated to the customer before adding their discounts. Another new functionality in the calculation scheme is the possibility to add extra discount or upcharge lines. Those lines can be added within the header calculation or the article calculation tab and by pressing the blue plus icon. As you can see, you can add multiple levels here within your calculation scheme. Also possible is to later on remove them if you don't need them all, as you can see on the screen. Another big update is that you are able to manage the text box for your entire organization. That means that the administrators of the Picon login account are now able to manage the text box, create them for all the users internally. As you can see on the screen, this process happens completely within the Picon basket. Therefore, I'm able to create all the different templates that I want to use for the different languages and have them all in one overview within the Picon basket. To use the created templates, I just simply create a new quotation Go to the header data tab and see that within the header text, I have a new icon on the right hand side. By clicking on this icon, the templates appear and I can select the one I want to use for this quotation. Another new functionality is when creating an order within the Picon Basket Pro, you now have the possibility to also duplicate the addresses coming from the customer. This allows me to, for example, get the shipping address directly from the customer and maybe also the billing address. This of course saves me a lot of time, but it also reduces the errors of filling it in manually. Then last but not least, we also provide a new function in which you can download 3D models from the configuration that you made. As you can see on the screen, I just go to the properties of the product itself, go to the top right corner, press the three dots and see that I now have the possibility to export or download the 3D model itself. This concludes the new updates coming from the Picon Basket 2.9. Thank you for listening and have a good day.